my name is Elise. Thank you for coming to this uh, Pilates class. My name is Flo. Do you have any injuries today? Are you good? I'm going to be careful with my shoulder. What kind of injury do you have? Uh, I had a bursitis, but it's healed off quite well, but I cannot put much pressure on it. But okay. range, range of movement is actually quite good. Okay, just in case if you feel like it's starting to pinch a little bit instead of going all the way forward, maybe just stop halfway through to so avoid a comfortable and avoid plank. And I okay. remind you just put your knees down so you're just going to walk up. So take like it easy. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Alright, come to the top of your mat with your feet about hip width distance, which is about two feet wide. And here try to make so the outside of your feet actually parallel to each other so your toes are slightly coming in. We'll start with some roll downs for warm up. So take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your chin towards your chest, navel to spine, and nice and slow come down towards the floor. Stop wherever is comfortable, everybody's different. It's completely okay. Taking some inhales and exhales at the bottom. Now exhale, belly to spine, activating your roll up. Start coming back up, one vertebrae at a time, with your head coming up fast, nice and slow, we're just waking up some muscles here. Again, breathe in at the top. Breathe out, chin to chest, pour yourself down, nice and slow towards the floor. If you feel too much tension into the back of your legs, feel free to bend your knees. Whereas once you're at the bottom, maybe swing your arms from side to side, grab your elbows, nod your head yes, nod it no. Inhale here, and exhale, bringing your belly towards your spine, and come back up. Let's do one more roll down, and once roll down, at the end, we'll just go ahead and sit onto our mat, so inhale up. Exhale, chin towards your chest, roll down nice and slow. Also releasing your head so that there's no tension in your neck. Again, swing a little bit. And now bend your knees and sit onto your mat. And bring your back onto your mat, rolling slowly. We'll find our uh, neutral pelvis and our neutral spine. So here you might want to bring your feet a little bit closer to your hips. Your hands up on the floor near your hips. You're going to tuck and arch your pelvis, starting to warm up the lower back muscles, the pelvic floor. So in order to find a neutral pelvis, you want to stop somewhere in between your tuck and your arch, where you feel like your hip bone and your pelvic bone are actually in a line. Imagine if you were to put a cup uh, onto the area that it would not spill. I usually try to imagine a champagne food, and that does a trick. So once you're into your neutral pelvis, let's move up your spine so you can feel a natural arch into your lower back. Then your upper back is gently resting onto the mat and your shoulder blades, and there's a natural arch into your neck. Now to get into your neutral spine, just very softly, Bring your chin towards your chest, and this is your neutral spine. Now we're going to our breathing. Here you can close your eyes if you like. Bring your hands onto your ribs, onto the top of your ribs, and just starting with natural breath. So inhale into your back, your sides, and your belly. And exhale from your belly, your back, and your sides. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale through the back, sides, and belly. And exhale, release from the back, the sides, and the belly. One more time, inhale through the back, the sides, and the belly. And exhale, release from the back, the sides, and the belly. We're going to transfer breath now. So again, you're going to inhale naturally from the back, the sides, and the belly. And you're going to exhale, squeezing the air out, activating the pelvic floor, and bringing your ribs towards your hips. Inhale, release. Exhale, again, activate your pelvic floor and your abdominal muscles, squeezing the air out, and inhale, release. Now you exhale, activating again, 
but this time on the inhale, you only inhale through the sides and the back. So you can feel here that your breath is much more shallow and you exhale, you're keeping the connection of your belly. Again, inhale through the sides and the back. And exhale, keeping the connection of your belly. This is your Pilates breath. So during the entire exercise, you want to try to keep this breath. It's difficult to remember, but if at any point you see that you've released this breath, just simply come back to it. Little by little, you learn to actually keep it throughout the entire hour. Now you can place your hands back onto the floor and uh, lift. We're going to do some pelvic roll ups. So you're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, imprint your lower back to the mat and roll up one vertebrae at a time towards the ceiling. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower your spine down one vertebrae at a time, going nice and slow, getting into some spinal articulation. Lower back and tailbone come last. Inhale, release. Exhale, again, imprint your lower back to the mat. Come up one vertebrae at a time towards the ceiling. Trying to make one long line between your uh, shoulder and your knees. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll back down one more degree at a time. Very nice. Now we'll add some arm movements. So inhale here. Exhale, imprint your lower back. Roll up one more degree at a time towards the ceiling. Inhale, bring your arms up and around to the back and to the floor. Exhale, roll your spine down nice and slow to the mat. And inhale, circle your arms back around, coming back towards your hips. Again, exhale, imprint your lower back to the mat. Come up one vertebrae at a time towards the ceiling. Inhale, your arms come up and around to the floor. Exhale, your spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. And inhale, circle your arms back around. Very nice. Now you're going to bring your legs into tabletop with your knees and your ankles together. Here you want to make sure that your lower back is imprinted to the floor. And we're going to go to the sides only about 40 degrees. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, drop your legs towards the right side and to look to the left. Very nice. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side and look to the right. Very nice. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right, look towards your left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, look to your right. And inhale, center. And release your feet back to the mat. Here you want to make sure your feet are pretty close to your hips. We're going to prep for our abs section. We're going to interlock your fingers behind your neck. So you interlock them and make sure that your thumbs are going right on the sides of your neck going down towards your shoulders. And make sure to keep your elbows nice and open. If this becomes uncomfortable on your shoulder, you can always bring your arm back down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your chest and shoulder off of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, release to the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, come up. Inhale here, and exhale lower. Now we'll do prep for twist, so inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring your right shoulder towards your left knee, really working with the shoulder. Inhale back to center, wrap up with the elbow. Exhale to the other side. Inhale center, exhale to the other side. Inhale center, again to the other side. Inhale center. And release back to the mat. Now we'll do our preparations for the hundreds. So extend your legs out to the mat in front of you and your arms are extended above you. Right. We're going to inhale, bend your knees, sliding your toes to the floor. Exhale, your legs go up towards the ceiling, curl your chest forward and your arms come around to meet towards your hips. Inhale, bend your knees, toes to the floor. Exhale, extend. Again, inhale, bend your knees, toes back to the floor, exhale, curl up. 
Very nice. Inhale, bend your knees, close to the floor. Exhale, extend back to start position. Again, inhale, bend your knees, slide your toes to the floor. Exhale, curl up, coming up. And bend your knees on an inhale, exhale, extend back to your start position. Now we're going to establish your personal 100th position. So you have different options. If you have any soreness in your neck, feel free to interlock your fingers behind your neck. If it's not enough, place your right onto the mat. Or if it's still too challenging, you can bring your legs into a tabletop position. And if that's way too easy for you, then bring your legs down. So let's try it out. Inhale, bend your knees, toes slide onto the mat. Exhale, curl up, legs come forward. Now try out the different positions, so you can either interlock your fingers behind your neck, you can lower your legs. I think you guys look pretty strong, so I think you can extend your legs, maybe lower them a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> Very nice. Now we're going to our 100, so we'll pulse for 5, on an inhale, and on an exhale for 5 again. Holding those positions, so in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, almost there, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 5, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, well done. Bend your knees, exhale back to your start position. Very nice, ladies. Okay, let's release the so lower back a little bit, bring your knees to your chest, maybe roll around a little bit, massaging your lower back. So pull your knees around a few times towards the right and towards the left. And now place your feet back onto the mat. We'll do some more roll-ups and then with transfer. So breathe in to breathe there. Breathe out. Uh, imprint your lower back to the mat. Come up vertebrae by vertebrae towards the ceiling. Breathe in at the top. Breathe out. Roll your spine back down. Vertebrae back out of ground to the mat. Breathe and release. Now we're going to breathe out. Come back up. Vertebrae back out of ground towards the ceiling. So now we're going to breathe in. Bring your right leg up into tabletop position. Breathe out. Release. Breathe in. Left leg up. Make sure your pelvic doesn't drop. Breathe out, release, breathe in, switch leg. Very nice. Breathe out, release, and last one. Come up, breathe out, release, breathe in here, and breathe out, roll back down one more breath at a time. Well done. Now you're going to extend your left leg onto the mat, and your right leg is going to come up towards the ceiling. Going to head switch pull. Uh, head to pull, so interlocking your fingers behind your thigh, really trying to bring your leg towards your chest, and you want to anchor the left leg into the mat, really pressing through your heel. See if you can bring the leg a little bit closer to you. Now you're going to point and flex, and point and flex, and point and flex. One more time, point and flex. Bend your knee towards your chest. And now extend your leg back out. See if maybe it's coming a little bit closer. And release your leg from your hands. We're going to leg circles. So try to keep your legs straight. And here, make sure that your uh, hips are staying really nice and steady. If you feel like they're moving around, maybe do a smaller circle. So you're going to breathe out to the side and down. Breathe and come back up. Again, breathe out to the side and down. Breathe and come back up. And again for three. Nice and slow, steady movement. And for 
We want control. And for five, breathe out to the side and down. Breathe and come back. And again. Two more. And last one. Very nice. Now we reverse. So breathe out towards the center and down. And breathe and come back up. And for two. And three. And four. And five. So if you feel if you feel like you're moving around, maybe place your hands up to your hips. Make sure they're steady. And two more. I find this exercise to be really quite challenging. And lower your leg back to the mat. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your left leg up. Interlock your fingers behind your thigh, pointing towards the ceiling. Getting a really nice stretch into your hamstrings. And point, and flex, and point, and flex, and point. And flex one more time, point and flex. And now bend your knee, bring it towards your chest. And one more time, extend your leg out. Let's stay here for a few moments, trying to get a little bit more flexibility into our leg. And let's go into our circles. So we're going to breathe out to the side and down, and breathe in, come back up. And for two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And other side, breathe out. And breathe in, come back up. Three. Four. Maybe like smaller circles, especially if you're getting your clickings. And two more.
Of course, if you're super flexible, you might not need them at all. And I'm like, not sure you need it, but... <laughs> Hamstring stretch, so extending both legs, making the adjustment to the stance you need, and using your blocks. Make sure your hips are level. Well done. Bring your chin towards your chest a little bit. Directly below your shoulders again and your knees below your hips. 
we're going to go into threads and needle. So you're going to bring up your, I will not be doing it as I also have a shoulder problem, but you're going to bring up your left arm towards the ceiling, twisting from the spine and you look up. Very nice. Getting a nice stretch into your shoulders. And now thread this arm under your other arm, placing your shoulder onto the mat and your cheek, your left cheek. Just trying to keep your hips level. to the back of your shoulder. And you can also get a stretch into your side body if you're breathing into the side and really feeling your ribs expanding. Now we'll inhale both legs out and your arms will come up, only if it's comfortable. 
to go for you. So inhale out, exhale, come back. Inhale out, exhale, come back. Again. And out, and come back. Again. Very nice. Maybe see if you can lift up a little bit further. Three more. Extend. Exhale, come back. And two more. And last one. Perfect. Now we're going to extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Again, if your neck is bothering you, please place your arms to the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lower the right leg down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left. Inhale, back up. And right. Back up. Exhale, down. And back up. Lower. Back up. Left leg. And back. And right. And back. And left. And back, three more on each side. And left, and back, and right, and back, left. Oh, I lost count, so let's see, this is the last one. And here we go. Now bring your legs into tabletop, interlock your fingers behind your neck. Bring two inhale to prepare. Exhale, extend both legs out. Inhale, come back. This is starting to get difficult. Exhale, out. Inhale, come back for me too. Exhale out, inhale, come back, and out, and come back. Out, halfway there. Exhale out, and back. Exhale out, and back. So, and back, and last one. Out, and back. Now we're going to a twist. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, exhale to the right leg, bringing the right shoulder to the left. Come back, exhale, twist, inhale, center, and twist, and center, and twist, and center, and twist, and center, and twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, and last one, and come back and lower your head. Bring your knees towards your chest, nicely done. Really roll around, giving yourself a nice massage. Bring your feet to the mat, keeping them close to your hips. You can extend your arms a little bit further onto the floor. Inhale here, and exhale, drop both legs towards the right side and look to your left. And inhale back to center. And exhale to the left side, look to your right. Inhale back to center. Again, let's go to the right side, but let's actually stay here for a few breaths, actually feeling the benefits of this nice spinal twist. Come back to center. And exhale to the other side. Looking towards the right, taking a couple of breaths. And now back to center. Come onto your side and push yourself. And we're going to lay onto our bellies. Here you can grab your towel, place it onto your, under your forehead. So we're starting with a quad stretch. So place your right hand under your forehead. And with your left hand, you want to grab hold of the back of your foot, of your left foot, and bring your heel towards your glutes. Feeling a nice stretch into the quads. You can also press into your hand with your foot and lift the knee off of the mat, getting a much deeper stretch.
And again, give yourself a really nice blood stretch. to go into um, the whole pelvis. So first we're going to bring your hands, your arms into a goalpost. So we're just going to do a 90 degree angle into your elbows. Very nice. Bring your toes together, heels apart. Tuck your tailbone in slightly, activate your pelvic floor and squeeze your glutes. Stretch you a little bit further. I like that. Hmm? I like that. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Mm -hmm. Well, you're done. 
and three more. And when you're done, you work well. It's working. Good. <laughs> now you bend your uh, top leg, stacking your legs onto each other. We'll go into plan. So breathe in to be back. Breathe out, open to top knee. And breathe in, lower up here. It might help to put your hand onto your hip to make sure that it's staying steady. And if you have some balance. And open and lower. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, lower. And open and lower. And open and lower. One more. Open and lower. Next, extend the bottom leg out. And you're going to place your top foot on top of your bottom knee. And bring your top leg parallel to the mat. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, open. And lower. And breathe out, open. And lower. Breathe out, open. And lower. And open. And lower. And open. And lower. Three more times. Open. You should start to feel it. Yep. <laughs> and last one. All right. Now we're going to add an extension. So breathe out, open. Breathe in, extend. Breathe out, bend. Breathe in, close. And open. Extend. And bend. And close. Breathe out, open. And extend. And bend. And close. Exhale, open. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. And close. And open. Ooh, my head. That was nice. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at that one. Oh, good. All right. I want to go back. <laughs> Place your right foot on top of your. Oh, whatever foot you just walked. Sorry, on top of your uh, upper thigh. And one of your fingers behind your thigh. And bring it towards your chest. <laughs> yeah, I love that oh, sound. Wow. <laughs>
to bend the bottom leg, bringing the foot to be in line with our hip. Here we're going to actually lead with our heels, going only about 30 degrees up. So we now prepare. Exhale, lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Make sure your underneath waist is lifted. Two more times. And now we're going to the fabulous leg circles. Breathe out, come around, breathe in, come back up. Again, making this a very steady movement, very controlled. You can use your hand on your hip to keep it steady. And two more circles we swim. And reverse. Breathe out the back. Breathe in the back up. And two. Three. And four. Five. And six. And seven. And eight. Bend your leg.
go here. Exhale, chin to chest, belly towards the spine. Hold on, go to break, back up to break. Here, swing from side to side. Body is warmed up now, so you can create a little bit lower compared to earlier. Nod your head, yes. 